Hi, I'm Sharifa Sophia, and today I will be reading What Will You Do, Alia? Written by Tiffany Chen Su Yi and illustrated by Su Wen Yi. Are you ready? Let's go. What Will You Do, Alia? Written by Tiffany Chen Su Yi and illustrated by Su Wen Yi. There once was a doctor named Alia. So kind she was she, brave and clever. One time, she had to perform her best when the world went through a great test. For then came a sickness never seen. The people called it COVID-19. One day, the ambulance brought a young boy. His father's face was empty of joy. Save my boy, doctor, said his father. Save him, for I could not save his mother. Don't worry, said Alia. I'll do my best. While he is unwell, I will not rest. Hassan the boy was never grim. Alia soon grew very fond of him. But one day he did not smile at her. His skin was warm with a high fever. Dr. Alia, he said with a wheeze, I don't know why I find it hard to breathe. Alia said to her nurse, Hector, go, get a ventilator. But when he returned, his face was concerned. There's only one left, he said. But there's an old man, I'm afraid. He needs air his lungs no longer supply. Without the machine, he will surely die. Alia turned white with fear. Her eyes were shining with tears. Without the machine, the old man will die. But if we give it to him, then Hassan might. What will you do, Alia? What will you do? Hassan needs to breathe, but the old man does too. Take it, Alia said, gritting her teeth. Give it to the old man so that he can breathe. As for Hassan, I will search low and high for a ventilator so that he will not die. Alia looked, then looked some more. She looked into every room and store. She called other hospitals for the machine, two times, then three, then 10 and 14. I'm sorry, they said, there aren't any left. We'll only have more by next week at best. Defeated, she returned to Hassan's room. The air was thick with doom and gloom. But Alia was soon filled with worry, for there was a bed, cold and empty. No, she said, not believing her eyes. It could not be that Hassan had died. What have you done, Alia? What have you done? Have you killed that sweet boy, Hassan? Then Alia heard a voice from behind. Dr. Alia, Hector cried. You did it. You saved Hassan. He is now in room number one. A hospital that you called earlier has given him a ventilator. You did it, Alia, you saved the boy. Now come and see him so that we can rejoice. Beaming, she went to Hassan's side. She saw that the boy was teary eyed. His voice was soft, his words were few. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. Alia knew this could not be true. And so she replied with a grin so wide, when you grow up, you should be just like you. Now that was a wonderful story, especially with us being right now in the pandemic of the COVID-19. An important thing about reading is that you get to learn and experience things in your mind and your vocabulary is very, very expandable when it comes to lots of reading. So I believe that reading is really important and I'm very glad that my children are really avid readers and I try to be a, quite a frequent reader myself and I think you at home should start reading a lot too because you know reading never never lets you stop learning so keep on going and I know that you can be an avid reader too. Have a really good day guys. I'm Sharifa Sophia. Bye.